hard to imagine that when I look around at these hot rods, they all started with this car. They used to take the guards off them, chop them down, put late model wheels on them, aluminium wheels and big engines in them. And that's exactly what these guys have done here today. We've got 32s, 34 Fords, we've got Corvettes, we've got old Buicks, we've got loads of custom cars and hot rods down here at Andy's today at his annual picnic. When guys came back from the Second World War, they wanted their cars to be more aerodynamic, so they were chopping the roofs, they were taking the guards off the cars, they were lowering the cars. Guys started up businesses dropping axles, making mag wheels, making performance parts for these cars. Henry Ford himself was a hot rodder. Hey Bill, how you going? I'm, I'm good, thanks. What's of interest in this engine bay? Well, it's kind of like the original uh, flathead V8 that the car came out with, it, uh, it's a 32 Ford. Now flathead, they didn't come out with a supercharger. They came out with one little single barrel carburetor, or I think the performance model had a two, two barrel on it. But uh, yeah, so that's been greatly uh, enhanced with the supercharger there. So the power's there when you need it, yeah, and otherwise you've got the economy. Them. Yep, they right. run really well. Morris Commercial came out with a side valve 800cc, and now you're running a 350 Chevy with a turbo 700, turbo 700 automatic gearbox yeah. and, a, and a Jag Def. Yeah. How much horsepower now? 300, that's About 300 horsepower. So now it's a real bread van, 83 inch wheelbase. So as you can see from the crowd behind me, rotting's really come of age. From the end of the Second World War, when young guys were coming home, building cars, having fun, getting called hoons, to now, we've got three generations of hot riders. It's really come of age. Here's one of the cars I love, a 1932 Ford Coupe with no guards or fenders if you're American. This is really old school, white wool tyres, old style wheels, but they're modern, they're new. They've got all the new things inside them to make them go fast, but be safe. Here's an emerging trend, something I kind of like. Modern motorcycles made into old school cafe races. Check out the helmet. It's got a carbon fibre guard, old school headlight, small back wheel, modern rear suspension, but an old cafe racer style seat. Pretty cool. So here we have a Model T Ford one of the original mass production cars that Ford built when he wanted everyone to have cars. It's got original wheels, it sits very high off the ground and enough room to wear your top hat. Over here we have another Model T which has been heavily modified. It's got updated suspension, supercharged engine, shop roof and modern wheels. So Andy, you've had your annual open day. Yeah. What's that all about? Well George, just giving it back to our customers and the public who sort of see what we sort of do down the shop, you know? Opens a lot of eyes and gives people ideas. We work it around a family oriented event. Most people have got you know, wives, kids and whatever, and that's what it's all about. It's not a single man sport. 